So this is pretty nice, isn't it? I'm in Michigan, I'm here for the CrossFit Games and this is my daily walk to the CrossFit Games. So, I love Bristol, but this is quite good fun too. So let's talk about summer landlording. <laughs> it's not the Grease story, good song, summer loving. Nope, summer landlording. This is what we do, and you just might decide to adopt some of the stuff, or you might do more than we do, and if so, please comment down below, because it'd be great to hear what other people do as well. Just to keep the houses. I like to be proactive. Oh, look how cute. So cute. I like to be very proactive rather than reactive uh, as a landlord because I want to try and eliminate as many problems as possible before they ever come up. So, you know, you do the gas safety checks, you do your electricity checks, you do your Legionnaires check, um, you make sure there's an EPC, you know, all of that kind of stuff. This is the stuff that we do on top, partly <laughs> because I have such thick curly hair uh, that we, we, ha we have that um, kind of acid drain clearer uh, and we put it down the all drains in the houses ideally every three months but definitely once a year we get a, although technically it's the tenants responsibility to tidy the gardens do they <laughs> do they heck <laughs> so yes on inspections if the gardens need kind of a little bit tidying up we tell them guys you've got to tidy up but the big stuff you know cutting back hedges and cutting back trees and I mean most of our gardens to be fair are the classic landlord garden I mean I love gardening but let's make it easy for the guys to live there so it's membrane and chips to make it really easy for them to live there. However, there's still gonna be some kind of growth, isn't there? So we send our team round to really kick into gardens once a year so that they're really well looked after. Um, light bulbs, yes, it is the tenant's responsibility. Yes, it annoys me when tenants don't replace light bulbs because it's just like, oh, for heaven's sake, come on. <laughs> But it's also a fire risk if you don't have good lighting. So we definitely, on every inspection, and certainly in the summer, make sure that all our light bulbs are replaced, that um, the, light, the place is really well lit. Um, what else do we do? Summer landlording. Yes, so um, we, we test off, well, we'll every quarter, we, every three months we do an inspection, and we actually check the, the fire blankets there, the, the CO2 detectors there, that the, um, pressure level in the fire extinguishers are up to date uh, oh, not up to date that's the wrong word are within the acceptable pressure level because it will show you on the uh, fire extinguisher uh, we make sure that there are no um, areas within the houses that are a fire risk so often tenants put bicycles into the hallway well could you imagine I mean god forbid god forbid a fire happened and they're trying to get out in a hurry the smoke and a bicycle falls over because it's in the hallway that's a fire risk so we just make sure that kind of stuff is um, out the way if you like and then in the summer it's garden tidy up it's drain clearance it's new light bulbs it's oh yeah sorry in the fire risk we also check that the smoke alarms work every time we move a tenant in and out and every three months we check all the sm smoke alarms but in the summer even though they work because I'm paranoid and because it only costs a couple of quid and it is about people's lives we replace all the batteries for smoke alarms as well so there you go, that's just like a little summer refresh of the houses um, and actually we're on a rolling proactive uh, program at the moment um, of making sure all our houses are really nicely painted, the front gardens look good, the gutterings cleared. Do you know, because you can really tell the difference between a tenanted property often and an owned property because it's just that lack of attention to detail and I want to make sure my properties are in the top quartile so I want to make sure my properties look like they're well looked after which is often what an owned property looks like but yeah gardens light bulbs um, drain clearance um, batteries replacement and the usual fire safety checks useful stuff super sexy obviously but really good for you